Okay, well I'm back out in my favorite car, my Chevy Cruze. Uh, this is my son's car actually, the 2013 Chevy Cruze. And I'm having another little issue right now. Uh, nothing to do with any dash lights or anything. When I run this car, when I start it up, I get a whiff of oil. Because in this car, it smells like burnt oil. Uh, I can't really see anything under the hood, not last time I checked anyway. But, uh, I'm just going to turn myself around here. Let's have a peek and uh, investigate under the hood. See where this, uh, see if we can find where this oil leak is. Because there's definitely something leaking. And it's one of those classic uh, oil dripping on the manifold type things. It smells like burnt oil. It's kind of annoying. So let's see if we can sort this out. All right. Snowy day. My uh, Chevy Cruze uh, smells like oil when I'm driving. And I've looked around. I can't see any oil leaks anywhere. But when I look down here, I don't know if you can see it now. Underneath this heat shield, there's little wisps of smoke coming up. And it was really bad when I first started. So, uh, this could be the uh, source. Everything else looks pretty good. I think some work's been done to this in the past. The valve cover and that, that's been done. That looks newer. But I see little wisps of smoke coming here. Let's take this heat shield off and uh, see if we can discover anything. So I got my uh, three uh, bolts out, 516s, for this little heat shield. Let's get this out of the way. Hmm. Let's get this right out of the way. Now. Does that look wet around that bolt? It's kind of a banjo bolt arrangement here. Uh, I'm hoping this is kind of where the leak is because if it is, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of an easy fix because uh, recently I took this uh, line off. This is the uh, oil supply line to the turbo and it's recommended to check this when you change your oil because these are known to clog up and uh, turbo without oil will no longer spin. So I did take this out and I proved the line to be clear, but obviously when I put it back in, uh, I disturbed the old seals and uh, now I've got a leak. Or, or I, think that, I think I've got a leak there. Let's uh, start the car. It looks a little bit wet there. It looks a little bit wet. I'm hoping that's it, because if it is, it's an easy fix. Uh, it's just a T45 to take this out, and then the same 516 and this line pops off. This has O-rings on it, and I believe this has a couple of Doughty seals. Uh, let's just quickly start the car up to see if we can see anything down here. Just want to see if, uh, if we can see anything evident. I don't think we're losing a lot of oil, but it's annoying to the point that it just makes, it just, uh, it smells like oil inside the car, which is annoying. I'd say that's definitely leaking right there. Right? I can see the oil. There it is right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do now, that is a good line, but what I'll do is I'll just go, uh, I'm just going to grab a brand new oil line and replace that. Alright, let's do that. Let's go get a new line, pop this off and replace it. I can see the oil, plain as day. And obviously it leaks down, it hits the hot exhaust, and then you can, uh, you can smell it inside the car. Alright, I'm just leaving UAP Napa. I got my uh, turbo feed line. And it is the... Uh, Here's the numbers there. It is the upgraded one. Let's see, both Doughty seals are in place. So that's obviously where mine had failed. Uh, the rubber must have been gone out of here. And the upgraded bolt comes with a, uh, it's not a T45 Torx, it's a much larger uh, Allen head. So be able to crank that down probably a little bit tighter. 
The other end is unchanged, just two O-rings, and that just slips into place. And then there's a washer and the bolt that holds that down. So let's get back to the house and uh, let's install this uh, turbo supply line on our Chevy Crows. Okay, let's take this off. Oh, she's hot. Okay, that should be out. This was our T45, the new one's gonna be different. Okay, let's get the socket on that bottom one, pull this line off. Okay, now our 516th. Get that one off. This one's pretty much loose already. Okay, got everything loose. Now this turbo, I just shut the car off. It's very hot. I if I get my hand on there. Oh, she's warm, she's warm, she's warm. Of course, I'm not wearing any gloves right now. There, it's out. That easy. I'm basically doing this and holding the uh, Holding the phone in the other hand. Sorry. There it is. There's there's the old. You see the old seals. Obviously, uh, when I took this off last time, I took it off to inspect. Um, yeah. Now I know. Uh, take these off. You replace them. Uh, they're not that expensive. I mean, I paid quite a bit for mine because it came from UAP. You can get these on Rock Auto for. I think they're under $20, uh, but I didn't want to have to wait a couple days, so, all right, let's get this new one situated. Okay, well, I got the, uh, got the line in place. I got it just sort of started here. I got this one started. I got the, uh, I got the bolt in here, and I just put a little dab of oil on the uh, O-rings there. I'm going to tighten this down. That's all it is. The bolt just kind of sits up on that shoulder. I'm going to drive this all the way in, tighten this down, and uh, there we go. No more leak. Thanks for watching.